And you've lost your mom too, correct? No, no she's still here. Is he with you? Uh-huh. Okay. My husband. Has he lost his mom? Yes. It's your mom. Yeah. Yeah. Mike. Okay. So first I'll talk to Mike because he's really the doorman. But I'll tell you the reason he's opening the door is so that your mom can talk. Um, because she loves you so much. Very, very much. Okay. But first, Mike. Um, now there's a Linda or a Louise or Ellen who is still here, who he's mentioning, who's friends with you or who's a connection with mm -hmm. you. And he says, reach out with her. She'd be someone good to hang out with or to, to chat a little bit with. Um, Mike says that there's a balance that he wants you to find in your life. That there's not too much busyness but you're not just feeling too sedentary either. And he says when you find that happy medium, that's when you feel like you're really at your best. And that's when he can communicate with you and he can speak with you and he can really reach out. He is telling me about picking up, picking up your yard or going out and spending some time with trees and things like that, that he likes it when you're outside. That's a good time for you to be in there or to be connected with your spirit too. There's a November birthday or anniversary that's connected to the family or to his family that he's mentioning. Um, so he's recognizing that or acknowledging that. Um, he's also talking about a dog coming in and out, okay. that there's a dog around and that the dog sees him and the dog sees your mom too because she has a little puppy who's with her as well. Um, there's an S name connected to your mom. Did she have a Susan or a, uh -huh, or a Brothers, that's exactly who it is. Yeah. Yes. Please let him know that she's recognizing him too, or that there's a connection. Yes. Um, okay. Now there's also an L, as in, but this is a man, Alan, or L Lawrence. The man was her husband. Yes. She's acknowledging him, and she's oh, she says you took the best care. You always took the best of care of them, and you didn't have to do it. And sometimes you did it when you maybe didn't want to. <laughs> but she says, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, there's, a, um, there's an old desk that must have been hers or that you may have taken from her house. Yeah. And she says, you have that. And every time you, yeah, every time you sit next to it, she's there with you. And it's just her, both. Yeah, she likes both pieces. Um, she's telling me about you. Like, I don't know if your hands had been stiff lately or if you'd been struggling. Yeah, she says, don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Just keep yourself busy and then you will get distracted and you won't focus on it so much. Uh, <laughs> keep using my hands. <laughs> it's not that she's bossy, it's just she's no. telling you what to do. Yeah. Mabel, Mabel. <laughs> what do you expect? Um, there's a, do you cook breakfast sometimes or have you been cooking a little bit more lately? <laughs> Had you asked him? Uh, I've asked him to cook, yes. <laughs> see, your mom says please. It would be good for you. <laughs> and it would be good for her. She deserves a break. There's a, there's a pancake connection, too. I don't know if you've oh. been making pancakes lately or if she made pancakes a lot for you. And right. That's it. Make some pancakes like she used to. That's, just, that's easy. That's a small request. Yeah. There's also an Edward or a Don who she's mentioning, who's connected with her, Don or Ed. It's someone who's already there with her in heaven, and he's older than her, so you'll remember who it is. But she says there's just so many, so many family members and so many friends there with her mm -hmm. that it feels really good to, to have those spirits around. There's um, this Afghan thing that she's mentioning, too, um, that was, yeah, and she says... But she's glad that you do. Um, it's, again, that you've honored her by keeping yes. those things. Whether or not you use them, it's just having them and that being the intention. She says thank you for that. There's a walnut tree, too. Um, I don't know if growing up you guys had a walnut tree in your yard, in your front yard, but she's showing me walnut trees and the walnuts falling down and just remembering that. Um, there's a little... Um, it's like a little china set... Do you have some yeah, old dishes that are hers? Yeah, yeah. She says, that's a nice set. She's glad you're 
you're using that to um, there's also this window well well she shows me little purple flowers like African violets and petunias yes, and these yes, little African purple violets. yeah those are her flowers so she's just talking about those being around and that being a connection with her too and somebody had um, this okay there it reminds me of those state quarters that people would put in those little books Right. Do you have like a coin collection that you've gotten mounted or something? Yeah, she knows about that too. She says everything that you're interested in, you get interested in it and you take it seriously. And she's just so, so proud of you. So very proud. Um, there's a, somebody had like a hip fracture or where there was, yeah, yeah. She says her bones are good. Like, I mean, <laughs> Yeah, that's, good. that's an understatement woman you don't have bones <laughs> but that was something that was ongoing like a chronic I don't know if she had osteoporosis or if there was a lot of weakening in her bones but again she's just so strong and nothing holds her back now and and she says nothing needs to hold the both of the, the two of you back either and this I don't know if you've talked about going down to Texas or if there's like a Gulf of Mexico connection she wants you to go ahead and go she says that would be really fun and then there's um, there's another S name. Someone who's with her. Either there was uh, a Sunny. Did you have a friend of the family who had a nickname like Sunny or Sal? I don't remember. I don't remember anybody. Okay. Did you in your family was there someone who had a nickname? It's it's a nickname or a short name, um, like Saul or Sal. It's a man, it's a male energy who's already passed, and he's like a, a parent's generation. That would be, yeah. you'll think of who he is, I'm sure you will, or you'll remember. Um, there's a connection with the Navy, too, from one of the two families. Either yeah, someone, was see, it's with him, I know it is, yeah. Yeah, either he had a friend who was Sal or Simpson, who, you know, who went by a last name, because um, he's with you, too. Yeah, yeah, he for sure is. Um, okay, he's got to get a couple cents in. <laughs> you guys are getting four for one, <laughs> thanks to Mike. Thanks to Mike. That was nice of him. <laughs> he's the man. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> um, no, okay, so your dad, um, he's talking about like, doing this repair work with stairs, but I think that's with your mom. Have you been trying to help her either get around a little bit more? She, she's in a care facility. Yeah. It, it, That's, and he says that getting her to that place and her being there was the right decision. And he's acknowledging that it had been something that you tried to work around and avoid and skirt and you know not do it for a long time. And he says, no, but it was the right thing to do. Yes. Yes. And he says that it wasn't easy, but it was right. Yes. And he's thanking you for doing that. Um, he's very proud and I see him in that military suit and just you know, looking very handsome and very strong. And he says, you make him so proud. You see things through. He says, you see things through. And that's what he appreciates about you. He says, just make sure it's the right things you're seeing through. <laughs> like the vacations and things like, and making him make breakfast. <laughs> Those are the right things too. There's an August. Your dad's mentioning the month of August. So there's a birthday. That's a big deal. Yep, he's just, again, acknowledging that. And he says, he's glad that you... He says, legitimately, truly, he says, I'm really glad she didn't say I died because even though my body went, it was just a passage. And you're really clear on that. He says yes. it was a passage. Just kind of like taking a train. Um, I don't know if your family took train trips when you were growing up or if there was some public transportation like that. He says, I got off the earth station and I took the train to the heaven station. And it's much better there. But he's free and, and it's really, really a good experience. There's a George or a Gordon... Um, or a Glenn, who's with your father too, okay. um, who's one of his friends, or again oh, okay. another. Yes. One of his friends just passed, and his Glenn. And he greeted him. Oh, your dad oh, greeted yeah. him. Good. And and then he beat him in a hand of poker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because your dad's been practicing. <laughs> and he's a, he's a card shark. He's like, yeah, come on, Glenn. I got something for you. <laughs> no, he's very good with Glenn and, and all your family, all your family. There's another M, um, yeah, who's with your dad too, and he's really glad to have her there and all, and all the family. 
There's a, he's shown me a black horse. I don't know if he had horses when he was young or if there was someone else in the family. Yeah, he's got the horses there still with him. I mean, it's a really neat connection to when he was growing up. Um, but he's just acknowledging that. Um, he, there's two children, there's two other children, or he's recognizing two children in the family, so he's honoring them. Um, and then somebody's, li- there's a physically living woman, lady with a B name, like Bertha um, or a Brenda, who's friends with you or who's connected to the family, who he's recognizing. Bonnie. Um, you mean someone who's passed? No, somebody who's oh, here. My name's Barbara. But that, <laughs> that he's just, yeah, just confirming that yeah. for me. Or just telling me, good to meet you, Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> um, and then there's a Tucker or a Tyler who's still here that your dad's mentioning. Now, let me tell you, I think it's a last name. I think there's friends of the family who's the Tyson or Tucker or Tiller, and they may be old friends, but you'll think of who it is, and he's talking about, you know, spending time with friends, that that's a good thing. Um, He's got a watch, too. I don't know if your mom had kept one of his watches, um, but he says just again to send his love to her and tell her he watches over her and she's in the right place. Now, one more thing, and then I'm, and then I'll make him quit. <laughs> um, he's telling me about your mom's laundry at the place. I don't know if you'd talk to them about doing her laundry more often, or if there's some yeah, kind of a. Yeah, do her okay, it's not right. I don't know if she doesn't like the schedule they're on with it, or if she doesn't have enough clean laundry the oh, way okay. she likes it. Okay. Check in on that because he says it needs to be. <laughs> it needs to be improved. Yeah, well, because that's that's something she has control of, right. and she can pick out what clothes she wears. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah and that's, that's exactly like what it is. Right. That and that's what he says. He says she's lost a lot of things in her life. That's one thing that she can still yes. have authority yes. over yes. is what she wears and when she gets dressed and what laundry she has. Mm-hmm. And that's why he wants her to have control of that instead of that being taken away too. Um, there's an H like Helen. Um, or Harriet, who's connected with your mom too, one of her family members. Okay. It's either an aunt, someone who's older, who's already passed. Um, one other thing with your mom, there's a. I don't know if you have a, like you keep your keep the books, like you actually balance a checkbook still um, instead of doing things online. Hmm. So I yeah, keep my checkbook. Yeah, you don't do online banking. You still like write it out and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. She, no. she's just. Right. Yeah, yeah. She says, doing it the old-fashioned way. She says that's the right way for you. Yeah. you don't get pressured by all these. You just got to do it the right way I for you. Write check. Yeah, that's cool. And that's what she's confirming. She says in this world, it's it's. It, it means something when you write it, when you put your name on it, instead of just clicking a button. It's a different kind of experience. And she says, I love you. And she just is proud of everything and says, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Yeah, and your dad loves you too. Well, thank you so much. It's good to meet you. Let me give you... There you go. You're welcome. And that one's for you. You're welcome. Thank you.